सेशन इलेवन रिमोट नेटवर्किंग एजेंडा इज रिमोट नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर टर्मिनल सर्विसेज इंप्लीमेंटेशन रिमोट एक्सेस नेटवर्किंग इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्किंग वीपीएन रिमोट एक्सेस नेटवर्किंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क कम्युनिकेशन दैट एनेबल्स a user to access a computer or network from a remote distance so this is the machine which you want to access service configured to receive remote access connections from the internet and this is a client who is trying to access it this is a client configured for remote access via internet so client configured for direct dial up access through modem then telephone cables then again demodulation and then server access so this is the remote access of resources networking remote access authentication process step 1 a remote user initiate a session step 2 the remote computer request connection to a remote access server step number 3 the remote server acknowledges the connection step number 4 the client is requested to authenticate itself by using a remote authentication protocol and step 5 a connection is established between both computers by using agreed upon authentication protocol and credentials protocols used in remote access networking we can use point to point protocol we can use password authentication protocol we can use challenge handshake authentication protocol that is chap we can also use remote authentication dial up user services redis we can use terminal access control or access control system that is a tacacs so ppp pap chap redis and tacacs all these protocols can be used for remote networking microsoft windows terminal service microsoft windows terminal service is a client server system that enables multiple clients to run applications or manage a server remotely configuring terminal services core functionality first configure the ts servers that is terminal server role service and then configuring the ts server settings main office terminal service is where we configure to access to allow the access configuring the ts server role services you need to configure ts features installing the ts server role service authentication modes terminal service core functionality remote desktop connections remote desktop connections display then remote desktop experience device redirection introduction to standalone instance and a form and then standalone instance via versus form these are the sequence of step let's understand one by one ts features terminal service in windows microsoft windows server 2008 provides these features support for remote desktop protocol rdp over https support for spanning of display improved printing with ts easy print enhanced security features improved management and scalability features support for microsoft internet protocol version 6 ipv6 and support for presentation virtualization technology these are all features of terminal service installing the ts server role service the first step use the server manager to install the ts server role service then install the program that need to be hosted on the terminal server 
then configure the remote connection settings to enable users and groups to connect to the terminal service so step one server manager server manager to install TS server this is how we use second install the program that needs to be hosted on the terminal server what all programs you need to host step number three configure the remote connections settings to enable users to access the terminal service authentication mode it may be password based authentication it may be smart card authentication it may be OTP or one-time password it may be Kerberos it may be SSL or TLS certification as authentication terminal service core functionality RDC 6.1 RDC display plug and play PNP device redirection for media player and the digital cameras embedded point of service that is POS and single sign-on SSO for domain joint clients remote desktop connection 6.1 remote desktop needs to be installed on the client which wants to access it RDC 6.1 and terminal server will allow this access remote desktop connections display supports high resolution desktop spanning multiple displays that is RDP display remote desktop connections RDC display device redirection on windows 2008 terminal server you can configure the redirection of portable devices such as media player based on media transfer protocol that is mtp then digital camera based on picture transfer protocol ptp which can be configured Configuring the terminal server settings. Configuring start programs on connection. Restricting remote connection sessions and configuring other TS settings will be part of this uh, settings, total uh, overall configuration of terminal server settings. Configuring and troubleshooting terminal service connections. Configuring the TS connections properties then configuring TS connection properties by using group policy and troubleshooting TS connections is what you will be needing. Configuring the TS connection properties. You will get these phases. Introduction to TS properties. Introduction to TS connection properties. Then configuring maximum number of simultaneous connections. Then demonstration of uh, configuring the uh, timeout and uh, remote uh, reconnection settings, configuring authentication and encryption, configuring desktop experience and plug and play device redirection framework. So introduction to TS properties in the configuration. So that include configuration connection properties, device and uh, resource redirection properties, remote session environments, session time limits and profiles. Together they make one configuration portfolio. Configure, configuring the plug and play device redirection framework. The plug and play device redirection framework is enabled by .rdp file created by the remote app wizard. It is automatically installed when the session on the remote computer is launched. Display notifications on the taskbar of remote computer. Configuring TS connection property by using group policy. Using group policy to configure the TS connection properties. Introduction to single sign-on and considering uh, consideration for configuring single sign-on. Using group policy to configure the TS connection properties. By using group policy, you can configure these connection properties, maximum number of sessions that can connect to the server, client connection encryption level, automatic start program on the user logon, enable and disable remote control, 
टाइम आउट एंड रिकनेक्शन क्लाइंट सेटिंग सच एज कनेक्टिंग ड्राइवर्स प्रिंटर्स मैपिंग क्लाइंट डिवाइसिस एंड लिमिटिंग द मैक्सिम कलर डेफ कैन बी कॉन्फिगर introduction to single sign on sso has these key features using single sign on users are not required to enter credentials each time they log on to remote session sso can be deployed in the line of business and centralized applications sso facilitates low maintenance costs and users can also attain sso by using active directory considerations for configuring single sign on sso can be used for rdc connection from microsoft windows vista or based on computer on microsoft windows 2008 server based ts for rdc connection from microsoft windows 2008 based server to microsoft windows 2008 server based terminal server or by users who have appropriate rights to log on to both ts and windows vista client on the client config computers and terminal servers that are part of domain ts remote app program the remote app program on terminal server can be accessed remotely through terminal server displays on the client as if it is running on the local computer it has its own resizable window and entry on the taskbar of client desktop can run along with the local programs on the client computer can share a ts session with another remote app program on the same terminal server using ts web based web access to deploy a remote app program to deploy a remote app programs by using ts web access first is configure the settings on the terminal server then add the programs to the remote app program list then step number 3 configure the global deployment settings that apply to all programs in the list then install the terminal server web access to role service and then step 5 populate the ts web access computers security group and then step number 6 specify terminal server from which to populate the list of remote app programs remote access networking is a type of network communication that uses special software package that enables a remote client to take over a host computer on the network as well as run applications from the server so that is remote access networking protocols used in remote access is rdp that is remote desktop vnc that is virtual network computing ica that is independent computing architecture and x window system of linux benefits of remote access networking it support connections and communication of multiple devices it provides enhanced security due to implementation of both basic and advanced encryption schemes also provide remote desktop connection for server administration and maintenance it provides a centralized system for application deployments and remote access to those applications vpn VPN basically allows you to access remote machines securely over unsecured internal uh, internet so VPN endpoints private network VPN endpoints private network so what we do is private network VPN endpoint and these VPN endpoints connect over the public network such as internet so this public uh, you know private endpoints we use to connect to our resources like you are using oracle vpn to connect connect to oracle network via internet that is virtual private network type of vpn access virtual private network 
इंटरनेट वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क एक्स्ट्रानेट वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क दीज आर थ्री पॉसिबल वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क वी कैन यूज एक्सेस वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क इज अ टाइप ऑफ वीपीएन दैट प्रोवाइड रिमोट एक्सेस टू सिंगल यूजर वाया डायल अप आई एस डी एन डी एस एल और केबल मॉडर्न कनेक्शन सो द रिमोट क्लाइंट द मेन ऑफिस यू यूज अ इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर डायल अप एंड देन यूज द इंटरनेट यूजिंग वीपीएन राउटर यू कनेक्ट टू द रिमोट ऑफिस द मेन ऑफिस so it provides hardware based vpn then we have intranet virtual private net network it's a type of vpn that connects section of network such as remote office tying into corporate headquarters like we use net vpn router this is intranet remote office this is internet main office so we use vpn router internet service provider and then internet is used to communicate used to transfer the data securely encrypted in encrypted format because a tunnel is created between this uh, these two vpn routers so it provide hardware based vpn then we have extranet virtual private network vpn it's a type of vpn that connect network belonging to different companies for purpose of sharing resources like we use vpn router vpn router vpn router and the, we use internet to access the data main office or remote office and partner office so means different partners different uh, companies share the resources using vpn the point here is in all the three examples quoted in last three slides internet is used securely by creating a tunnel through it whether it is vpn router hardware based or software and through the isp that's a extranet virtual private network we also use secure share socket layer ssl vpn that is ssl based vpn vpn format that works for a web browser it's create a tunneling protocol secure the path and that is isp internet and uh, encryption protocol secure the data that is vpn server so this is what uh, secure socket layer, layer vpn is that's all for this session thank you very much